In the bustling suburbs of Detroit, Michigan, David Hahn's childhood was a mix of typical suburban life and an insatiable thirst for knowledge that bordered on obsession. Born in 1976 to parents deeply entrenched in the automotive industry, David's early years were spent navigating the complexities of his parents' divorce, shuttling between his father's home and his mother's residence on weekends. It was during one of these weekends at his mother's house that David's journey into the world of science began in earnest. At the tender age of 10, his step-grandfather gifted him a seemingly innocuous book that would set the course for the rest of his life, the Golden Book of Chemistry Experiments. Little did anyone know, this seemingly innocent gift would ignite a passion within David that would lead to unprecedented feats of scientific ingenuity and, ultimately, to international notoriety. From the moment he cracked open the weathered pages of the Golden Book, David was hooked. His bedroom quickly transformed into a makeshift laboratory, complete with beakers, test tubes, and an eclectic array of chemicals. While most children his age were content with building model airplanes or playing sports, David's interests lay in a world far removed from the ordinary. By the age of 14, David's experiments had escalated to dangerous levels, with explosions and chemical spills becoming a regular occurrence in his basement laboratory. Despite the concerns of his parents, David's insatiable curiosity drove him to push the boundaries of what was considered safe or even possible for someone his age. It was around this time that David's fascination with nuclear energy took hold. Inspired by the promise of limitless power and the allure of unlocking the secrets of the atom, he set his sights on a seemingly impossible goal, to build a nuclear reactor in his own backyard. Armed with nothing but a rudimentary understanding of nuclear physics, and a boundless enthusiasm for experimentation, David embarked on what would become his most audacious project yet. With the resourcefulness of a seasoned con artist and the determination of a true visionary, David set about acquiring the radioactive materials needed to fuel his ambitious endeavor. Through a combination of cunning deception and sheer audacity, he managed to obtain the necessary ingredients from a variety of unsuspecting sources, including smoke detectors, antique clocks painted with radioactive paint, and discarded camping lanterns. Undeterred by the risks and potential consequences of his actions, David pressed forward with his plans, working tirelessly in the solitude of his mother's potting shed to construct his makeshift nuclear reactor. Piece by piece, he assembled the components of his contraption, carefully arranging the radioactive materials in a precarious configuration that would ultimately yield the desired result, a self-sustaining chain reaction capable of producing nuclear energy. As word of David's experiment spread, so too did the concern and alarm of his neighbors and local authorities. Rumors of strange activity in the neighborhood soon reached the ears of law enforcement and government officials, prompting a visit to David's backyard by a team of bewildered inspectors. What they found there defied belief. A fully operational nuclear reactor, built by a teenage boy with little formal training and even less regard for safety protocols. The implications of David's discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community and sparked a nationwide debate about the dangers of amateur experimentation with radioactive materials. In the aftermath of the discovery, David's life spiraled into chaos. He became a media sensation overnight, with reporters clamoring for interviews and filmmakers eager to tell his story. But amidst the glare of the spotlight, David struggled to come to terms with the consequences of his actions and the toll it had had taken on his family and community. Despite the attention and notoriety, David remained steadfast in his belief that science should be accessible to all, regardless of age or experience. He continued to pursue his passion for chemistry, albeit with a newfound sense of caution and responsibility. As the years passed, David's story faded from the headlines, relegated to the annals of history as a cautionary tale of youthful ambition gone awry. But for those who knew him, David Hahn would always be remembered as the radioactive Boy Scout, a boy who dared to dream big and paid the price for his curiosity.